I'm here today with Sue Shortland from the panel of the Relocate Awards judges. Hi Sue, thanks for joining us. Why do you think the 2017 Relocate Awards are so special, especially in our 10th anniversary year? Well, Fiona, the Relocate Awards are particularly significant for HR and global mobility professionals this year. We are on the cusp of a new political landscape. The emphasis in the years to come, with Brexit on the horizon and a new political domain in the US, will be on the promotion of business success and the mobility of jobs and people to bring this about. The time has never been more apt to celebrate current relocation successes and take the lessons forward, building employee engagement to support even better approaches to global mobility in the future. The relocation industry has come a long way in 10 years too, so it's a great time to celebrate our contribution to business growth globally. And why should organisations and individuals enter the 2017 Relocate Awards? Well, it's highly satisfying and motivational to be appreciated and recognised as making a difference. Being part of the Relocate Awards provides public acknowledgement of excellence and highlights success stories. The awards also enable the opportunity to have outstanding work showcased. Entering the awards raises your status and profile, demonstrating your professionalism and exceptional achievements. It also provides a really thoughtful way to thank staff, colleagues, partners and clients as you demonstrate the valuable part that they have played in the achievement of relocation industry excellence. And what do judges look for in an excellent entry statement? Well, the key to this section is to say why you should win. Don't leave it to the judges to infer this. Convince the judges that your actions are outstanding. Be persuasive and be dynamic. This is about your success story what you are most proud of, and how you measure your success. Focus on excellence. A brief example can be really effective to support this section. And why are added value, agility, people management, resource management and innovation technology included? And what are the judges looking for here? Well, adding value is critical today if service delivery is to be recognised as outstanding and relocation outcomes are to enhance business success. Give the judges examples of how you've added value to the relocation process. A key differentiator today is agility, showing responsiveness to change. You can tell the judges how you've achieved fantastic outcomes by doing great things and doing them well in times of fast-moving change. By people management, the judges mean how you lead, manage and engage your own staff, bringing out the very best in them to provide exceptional service to organisations, relocating employees and their families. Of course, we are all under increasing pressure in terms of time and resources these days, so tell the judges how you cope with these resource management constraints. You might consider a brief cost-benefit analysis example. With regard to innovation and technology, interesting and novel stories are nice to hear, but excellent service that you provide every day can also be noteworthy if you've stretched the boundaries and gone that extra mile. So don't feel you need to come up with something highly unusual. And what do judges look for in the supporting documents? Well, make sure that these support your entry effectively. You can use your allowance to provide testimonials, examples of practice, demonstrations of communications materials and technological examples. Your two-minute YouTube video should provide a flavour of the character of your organisation and its people. Remember that the judges need to relate any supporting material to the criteria on your entry form, so ensure your supporting materials are clearly prefaced and relevant to the points you are making. And finally, do you have any tips for those planning to enter the 2017 awards? Yes, I do, Fiona. Allow yourself sufficient time to complete your entry, particularly if you will need to obtain input or approval from others. Follow the assessment criteria and the detailed tips for each category. You'll find these on the website. They will guide you as to what the judges are looking for. Do not exceed the stipulated word counts. Submit your entry in the specified format and make sure to avoid marketing speak and techie speak. Be proud of what you've achieved and let that shine through in your entry. And try to use examples where you can to bring it all to life. And finally, Sue, why do you think the Science Museum is such a great venue for the 10th Anniversary Awards Gala Dinner on the 11th of May? Well, who knows where the future of relocation will take us. Ten years ago, we could not have imagined the changes in technology and the destinations in the world that relocation professionals have to work within today. 
The Science Museum Space Hall exhibits are an apt reminder of how so much can be achieved when we put all of our efforts into reaching what seem to be impossible goals. And yet, as the exhibits show us, the impossible became the possible. Our pride in our achievements, celebrated at the Garnold Dinner, will drive us on to even further global destinations and advance our knowledge. Perhaps we should also plan for extraterrestrial relocation policies too. Well, that's quite a thought, Sue. Thank you so much for all these tips, and we look forward to seeing you at the gala dinner. That's great. Thank you, Fiona.